I'm here with Ross Turk following the Linux kernel development panel. Ross, what did you find most interesting about that panel and what did you learn? Well, you know, I, I haven't been really involved with kernel stuff uh, for a long time. I mean, even as a, as a heavy consumer. And what I found is that I, I kind of take the kernel for granted in a lot of ways. You know, uh, the people that were talking up there are doing work in the trenches day to day with this kernel stuff and it's not stuff I really think about because the distributions these days tend to hide a lot of that from you. So I think that what I learned is that, you know, um, people people today aren't thinking about this as much as they used to and I, I haven't decided yet whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, whether that's a sign of, of maturity for Linux or whether that's a sign that the community is getting more out of touch with it, but that's, that's what I walked away with. Kind of on a similar theme to that, what image did you walk away with of the Linux community after listening to the panel? You know, the panel really accentuated how um, people who had complaints about device drivers and things like that, they really said, you've got to get your bug reports in, you have to start participating with us because we don't have all this hardware, and, and you do. So I think the image of the community was kind of almost similar to that. This is a community that is, you know, we're, they're being called upon to participate more and more and more. And uh, I, they, I didn't get much of an image of how much they're currently participating, but I got the image that they could be participating more, at least in verifying hardware. Okay, what are you most looking forward to today? Hmm. Coffee, any... and then going back and sleeping after it wears off. <laughs> are there any <laughs> sessions in particular you're really excited about? I'm really looking forward to hearing uh, to hearing Martin talk about my sequel and, and how he's still supporting the L and LAMP. I think that's going to be very interesting, especially from a company like Sun, which is sort of embedded with conflict, right? They, they have stuff that works on Linux, but they have Solaris. They have Postgres people working on their staff and MySQL, and I want to hear how they put all that together. And I, the funny thing I think about Sun is that they are still just the one company I think that has consistently shown a commitment to free software, where a lot of companies have free software products, and they don't, they don't have that messaging. So it is strange to see the duality between a company that seems so conflicted yet has a consistent message. So I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing what he has to say about that. Great. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.